Today, we're diving deep into one of the Bible's most mysterious and potent stories, Lot's wife. Why did she turn back? What does it mean to look back when you're manifesting? And most importantly, how can this ancient story teach us about staying firm in our new beliefs, so we never turn back to the old life we're leaving behind? The lesson of Lot's wife in the book of Genesis, we learn that Lot and his family were told to flee from Sodom and Gomorrah as the cities faced destruction. The command was simple, don't look back. And yet, Lot's wife did just that and was turned into a pillar of salt. But why did she look back? When we study Neville Goddard's teachings, we see that this story is less about physical events and more about what it represents psychologically. Looking back means clinging to our old beliefs, doubting our new reality, and fearing change. Lot's wife turned back because her mind was still tied to the life she was leaving. Breaking down the metaphor with Neville's teachings, Neville taught that our consciousness is the only reality and that our outer world reflects our inner state. If we look back, or revisit past beliefs, we anchor ourselves to the past. According to Neville, if you have decided to create a new life, to manifest wealth, success, or love, you must live in the state of the wish fulfilled. Any backward glance toward doubt or fear is like being turned into that pillar of salt, stuck and unable to progress. It's no different than Lot's wife who, in doubting her path forward, froze in place. The importance of fully embracing your new reality when manifesting, the law of assumption teaches that you assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled. This means immersing yourself so fully in your desired state that you cannot be tempted to look back. Picture it like a door closing behind you, sealing off any route back to the old life. If you're manifesting a new job, for example, truly embody the identity of someone who already has it. Lot's wife represents the part of us that might still cling to past limitations, afraid of the unknown. By refusing to look back, you break free from that fear and align with the future you're creating. Faith in the law of assumption Neville emphasized unwavering faith in the law of assumption, urging us to believe that feeling is the secret. When you visualize or affirm, feel it so deeply that the old life becomes irrelevant. In this way, looking back becomes unnecessary because your consciousness has moved on. Lot's wife, on the other hand, was unable to sever her connection to her former life. To prevent this pillar of salt effect in our own lives, we must cultivate a relentless focus on the life we're stepping into, affirming that we are worthy of it and that it is unfolding now. How to stop looking back and move forward How do we stop looking back? Neville suggests persistence not in forcing results, but in staying aligned with our desired outcome. Practicing gratitude for your future state, even if you don't see immediate evidence, solidifies your commitment to it. Neville taught that the subconscious mind doesn't distinguish between past, present, or future. It believes whatever we persist in assuming. So, instead of focusing on what's missing, focus on how you would feel if it were here already. This reprograms your subconscious to stop looking back and instead support you in moving forward. Release the habit of reassessing old failures The hardest part of not looking back is breaking the habit of re-examining past failures. How often do we revisit old memories, reliving the why behind why things didn't work out before? This is the psychological equivalent of turning back like Lot's wife. In Neville's view, this cycle of analysis only reinforces failure, as the mind assumes that if we're focused on it, it must be true. Instead, commit fully to your new state, embodying it in mind and spirit. Think of it like crossing a bridge and burning it so there's no way back. Real-world practices for manifesting without doubt Here's a simple practice. Whenever you catch yourself thinking of the past, immediately replace it with a mental image of your future self. For instance, if you're manifesting financial abundance, visualize yourself already having financial freedom. By continuously redirecting your thoughts, you begin to re-educate your subconscious. Neville called this the mental diet, where we control our thoughts and accept only those that align with our goals. With practice, you'll find it easier to stay focused and avoid falling into old mental patterns. Trust the process and stay unwavering. Finally, let's talk about patience and trust. In the story of Lot's wife, she lacked the trust needed to walk away without looking back. Trust means understanding that the process of manifestation doesn't require us to meddle or check up on our progress constantly. Every time you second-guess your desire, it's like peeking through a crack in that closed door. Instead, shut the door and move forward with full confidence, trusting that what you've imagined is already in motion. 
When doubts arise, remind yourself that looking back doesn't serve you. Your power lies in the present. Never look back, move ahead with confidence so, let Lot's wife be a reminder for all of us. To successfully manifest, leave the past behind without a backward glance. Assume your new identity, align with it, and let go of old habits that no longer serve you. If you find yourself tempted to look back, remember that doing so can only turn your dreams to salt. By embracing Neville's teachings and staying steadfast in your assumptions, you can move forward confidently, creating a future far brighter than anything you leave behind. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this message with others who need to break free from their past and live the life they truly desire. Remember, your future is waiting for you, don't look back.